My name is James Nash. Um, I'm a writer and journalist, but I suppose um, most people would know me as a poet. James has um, helped me um, in terms of developing who I am on the internet and developing a kind of identity for myself, um, both on the internet and through my podcasts. I think that what's happened um, has been quite interesting, really, because I've always been quite a focused um, person and I focus particularly in my writing. Um, but I think what James has brought is, is an extra focus to the marketing of brand James Nash. And I'm slightly embarrassed to talk about myself as a brand, but the truth is that when you're a writer, when you're an artist, um, when you're working in that kind of a way, you are establishing yourself, or you should be establishing yourself, both as um, a good practitioner, but also as a personality. And James has um, enabled me to focus on that and work out together what we should, how we should present that, um, both in the podcast um, and on the website. I think that the internet presence I've developed with James, and, and it's still developing and still changing, has given me a credibility and a standing um, with an audience out there that I didn't have. So um, the website is hit from all over the world, from China to Sweden to Canada to Australia um, and, and all countries in Europe. Um, the podcast is listened to all over the world. Um, but it's actually established me much more in Yorkshire and in the UK um, as um, a good writer who is capable of doing quite a lot of different things effectively. Working with James has been very interesting for me because he brings an extra kind of focus that I don't have. I'm very focused about my work and my writing and getting that done and getting that sorted. But James's focus on kind of um, the whole PR part of, um, of, of what we're doing um, is very useful and very interesting. And he brings an extra discipline to what I do. So while I'm actually focusing on my writing, he's reminding me the whole of the time the things that I need to do to make my website current and alive so that when people go to it, it's, it's not static, it's moved, it's kind of interactive, it's inviting people to join in. He also focuses me when I'm doing my podcast in terms of how I present myself to people and the kind of things I say that make it a much more intimate conversation between me and one other person. 